We've all been there, deleting files from an SD card or even maybe a hard drive. The first time this really happened to me was when I was in New York in this past summer. I had been in Times Square uh, for a few hours and shot a lot of photos, time lapses and video and stuff like that. When I got back to my hotel and started transferring the footage, halfway through the actual transfer it stopped and corrupted the SD card leaving all the files useless, and I couldn't do anything else than format my SD card. If, you, if you've done that before, that means all your, all your files are lost, basically. But I wouldn't be making this video if I didn't have a solution to that, and that is... Recuva. And by the way, I am not sponsored at all by Recuva for saying this. This is my real, real experience. That being said... Accidentally deleted an important file? Lost files after a computer crash? No problem! Rec Hoover recovers files from your Windows computer, recycle bin, digital camera card, or MP3 player. Rec Hoover can recover pictures, music, documents, videos, emails, or any other file type that you've lost. And it can recover it from any rewritable media you have. Memory cards, external hard drives, USB sticks, and more. And yes, it's also free. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is that you're gonna go to, to Google and you're gonna type in Recuva. You go to the CC Cleaner website. Recuva is a part of the CC Cleaner suite. I don't know what all these others are, but Recuva, completely free. So we'll go ahead and download that. So you press one of these to download. I download from CC Cleaner. Start the download, save the file. Here you can choose if you want CC Cleaner. I choose not to install CC Cleaner. Just be aware of that. It's automatically says yes for you. You can also take away these shortcuts. And you can check for updates that I will do. And then you can also, if you press more, you can choose where you want to store this. Recuva, there we go. Okay, and then hit install. And now we can run it. There we go, you'll get this little pop-up box, this install wizard. Uh, first, let me, I can take down the web page. You get this, and then uh, you can press yes. I want to uh, check all files. Yes, and in a specific location. I'm gonna take out the SD card of my GoPro, and I'm going to put it in my SD card reader. And then you can see the GoPro has been it's open now, so I say browse, and then I want to the GoPro, and I'll choose the DCIM file, and then we're gonna press next. And if you want to enable deep scan, check this box if previous scans have failed to find your files. Note that this may take over an hour on large drives. Which means if you you can do it the quick way first, and then if you don't find all your files, then do the deep scan. Basically, I'm gonna press start. Here you can see it's already found 12 files, which um, you can check here. I've got the actual sa the same folder right here, and there's no files in this GoPro right here kind of curious to see if this actually can recover video because when I had uh, this program in New York it was not able to recover the video. So let's see, then we select what files we want to recover and then we press recover. I mean duh. I'll just recover this to my desktop just for ease of finding it later. Uh, re cover recover. There we go. I want it here, so we choose that. And now is the waiting game. I mean, it's not a lot of files that I've just recovered, but depending on how, my, how many files and how big they are, it could take 
uh, much longer. I think when I did this in New York, it took me about uh, 30 minutes an hour to recover all files, but I think I did a deep scan then. There we go. So now I've recovered four files, fully recovered four files, it says. So let's check the actual folder. Okay, so this is a time lapse that I did when I um, I drove from Bergen to uh, to uh, Oslo uh, recently, and I put my GoPro in the windshield. So let's see if it actually recovered the file. And it really looks like it did. Uh, let's see if it recovered the entire video. That it did. Great. But what about this one? This one does not seem to be complete, does it? Yeah. It, it is. That's amazing. All right, so I can confidently say that it works on video and photos. It did not do that when I tried it in New York, but might have been the computer. So everything worked, right? Also, for those of you wondering, uh, this X right here, by the way, does not mean that it's not fully recovered. It basically means that uh, my storage is 98% full, uh, and that is because my desktop accidentally defaulted to my OneDrive. That X right there and these green parts right here does not mean that the file is not recovered, it basically just means that this one has not been fully uploaded to my drive, my OneDrive. So yeah, no worries there. That's all I had for today, I mean, uh, it was a short video I guess, and uh, if you want to recover your files then hey, this is right up your alley. Hopefully I've learned something, I've learned something, I did learn something. But hopefully you've learned something today about recovering files and maybe you'll even use uh, Recuva. Let me know in the comments down below if this actually worked for you. And yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the next video.